violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. The woman accused in the execution-style killing of a mother on a Brooklyn street is back in New York to face murder charges. Detectives escorted 42-year-old Claudia Williams from the 77th Precinct in Crown Heights this morning. She had been extradited from Florida, where she was arrested last week. So remember, guys, I showed you these this video where the woman, she, you know, <clears throat> she she kind of thick in that um, little get up that she had on right there But she shot this other woman in cold blood. She knew the family the family was crying and all that kind of stuff I mean, it was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy Police say Williams was caught on surveillance camera in August walking toward Delia Johnson wow. and shooting her in the head Investigators say the two women were once friends the motive for the shooting has not been revealed. Yeah, and and that's just in an example of the black on black violence that goes on even these females is on demon time but i wanted to show you guys an update because the woman has been caught and extradited um to the proper authorities and she's going to be held accountable because what she did was pretty much caught on camera so <laughs> it's ov for her a fight broke out in a school parking lot in Colorado that ended with three students shot and in the hospital. Mm. The Aurora Police Department said in a statement Friday a fight broke out at Hinkley High School around lunchtime and ended with a 17-year-old female and 17-year-old male and 16-year-old male in the hospital. One of the teenagers was taken to the hospital from the scene while the other two self-transported themselves to the hospital. In an update on Twitter, the department said they have charged a 16-year-old boy with attempted murder in connection to the shooting, although the police chief said there were, quote, multiple shooters. So, guys, um, y'all heard that uh, this is getting no traction. Multiple shooters in a school. No traction. Let's see what uh, the officer says, though. This is in Aurora, Colorado. What we know so far is that we have three juvenile victims at local hospitals. We're trying to work out uh, some of these individuals may be our suspects, some of these individuals are victims. Uh, we did have an APS security officer heroically return fire and then also apply a tourniquet to one of the students that was hit. So they start clapping back at the kids. <laughs> and um you know rightfully so if these kids are going to endanger other students then they shouldn't be out here this is the aerial scene guys it's pretty crazy we are again looking at every angle of this i need the public's help uh this there was a fight that started in this uh, parking lot and then it went into a shooting so a fight started and it went into a shooting um they're probably not gonna identify any of the juveniles i don't know if this is like a hispanic thing or whatnot but it looks pretty serious it looks pretty crazy multiple shooters they said multiple people injured um it could be like a gang thing i don't know these are our kids that are shooting one another. We have disrespect and no concern for life whatsoever. I need the parents to get involved. I need you checking phones. I need you checking rooms. I need you checking cars and make sure that they're taking these guns away from these kids. And I remember, you know, back in the day, we would, we would post up after school in our cars and just bump music and all that kind of stuff. You never know what types of beef these kids have. And it, I mean, it would be easy to have that strap on you. It's outrageous. It's just a bunch of things going on in one week. So, Angel Rodriguez, um, if, if this is the same school from last time, then that would be insane. But there's no media coverage. Of, like, they're talking about Kyle Rittenhouse and they're rioting and all that kind of stuff. But there's no media coverage about this. You know, we got half the police department here just because of these two shootings that happened. It's pretty scary just to think that all of this is uh, not normal. 
is something uh, hard to process. Yeah, I mean, y'all heard what he said. It ain't normal. What we know so far is that we have three juvenile victims at local hospitals. We're trying to work out uh, some of these individuals may be our suspects. Some of these individuals are victims. Uh, we did have an APS security officer heroically return fire and then also apply a tourniquet to one of the students that was hit. Uh, our SROs quickly responded, and I want to thank the men and women of the Aurora Police Department that, as you can see, responded here quickly and were able to uh, lock the school down and make sure that we had the students inside safely. I'm being told by APS that all students have been released now to their parents, um, so I want to thank you for that. I know you're going to ask me if this is related to our shooting on Monday. It is not confirmed at this. So it is the same school. Hinkley High School. It's the same school. Um, they got shot at the drive-by shooting. So this is getting pretty serious. Moment. It's a possibility, and we will let you know as soon as we know. However, I don't want people to just make that assumption. We are, again, looking at every angle of this. I need the public's help. Uh, this, there was a fight that started in this uh, parking lot, and then it went into a shooting. These are our kids that are shooting one another. We have disrespect and no concern for life whatsoever. I need the parents to get involved. I need you checking phones. I need you checking rooms. I need you checking cars and make sure that they're taking these guns away from these kids. I had multiple shooters on this scene as well. Uh, we cannot do it alone. And I Wow, I mean, whew. these kids is cutting the fool out there in Colorado. I know as you are, we are tired of this. Luckily, none of these injuries were being... I mean, if you send your kid to school after all this, you are crazy. ...told or life-threatening. But again, the emotional scars, not only the people that were hit today, but the people that witnessed it are long, going to be lifelong. I have Superintendent Rico Munn here with me as well. He came out to show solidarity. Um, the schools, uh, once we have Rangeview School that is getting released within an hour, all APS schools will be on uh, Thanksgiving break next week. I think I've told you everything. I'll open it up for questions of what we have so far. Uh, there are no arrests at this time. I know there is a, a social media video that's circulating of a white pickup truck. We have that pickup truck, so thank you for- Wow, so they got social media detectives all around too? It's crazy. That. However, I must ask that anyone that has tips, anyone that has video, if your kids have video, please do not so circulate it on social media. We need it either to the Aurora Police Department or- We gonna, we gonna look for these videos best is Crime Stoppers. There will be an, a, a reward for this as well. At this point, it's up to $2,000, um, and we'll try to increase that as, as we can. Go ahead. Yes. Well, I'm angry, and, I'm, and I'm, I want, we need the, people know what happened here. We need to talk to our kids. These beefs cannot continue, okay? These are all stemming from fights is what the information that we have. Yeah, I mean, it's social media, it's all that. It, it, it's, it's, it's brewing and it looks like it's not finna stop. And these kids have guns and they didn't get them, they got them from somewhere. So we need to start checking our kids' phones. You need to know who your friends or your kids are hanging out with and who their friends are. And we need to check rooms and everything else to see if there are weapons that are involved here. I hate to just be that bluntly, but I need I need the parents help in this. Yeah, and I don't know if the parents are gonna, you know, be doing that because a lot of these parents are not good parents. Um, point blank, that's just how it is. I can't give you that information, ma'am. Again, because we have um, we have victims as versus suspects. We're not sure, and we just don't want any issues. Not at this time. Again, we will continue to look at it, and then we'll also continue to see if this is linked to the Monday shooting. Uh, two of the two of the two of the people that have been shot are Hinkley students, and one is uh, APS Avenue student. Okay, so they got other schools coming, pulling up to Hinkley, and setting it off. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> We have not recovered any weapons that I know of, um, but I, like I said, we do have the white pickup truck that people um, identified some witnesses that were here. 
So let's make, I want to make it clear, it was an APS security officer, it was not an APD officer, so therefore we will be handling this investigation, um, especially I'm leaving it to my major crimes unit that took the shooting on Monday to make sure. Like, he's mad that they started shooting back at these kids with guns. Like, come on, G. If there's any linkages, uh, we have all that information. Um, but I do want to applaud um, his actions. Uh, he did a great job here today. Security officer, yes. I'm sorry. We have three people shot, and we think that possibly one of them may be one of our suspects. Again, we're still trying to sort out who's a victim and who's a suspect in this. Possibly, yes. Yes, so we have all week long, we have had an increased uh, presence at all the schools. Oh, so they're, they're going to, they're, instead of defunding the police, they're going to implement more police to stop the shootings. Funny how it works in the schools, but not on the streets, apparently. Um, and so we will continue that. Obviously, next week we're out of school to give us a reprieve to try and get the people that are responsible for this in custody. Um, but again, I need all information. I, I beg the public to please send us the information. I know that we're getting threats. We've had threats to Gateway, threats to Rangeview. We've sent officers there. I want credible tips to come to us. Um, absolutely. Anything that you hear, we need to know about it. I'm sorry, what? Well, the officer was here very quickly and helped uh, the APS, and then, of course, officers had the school locked down within minutes. And he's saying these guns are coming from somewhere. Do we know where we're getting these guns? I mean, a lot of these guns are not hard to find, especially for a kid on the street. These gun vendors, the black market gun vendors, they don't care if it's a kid. They just want their money. So I know that some social media platforms is what I'm being told. Some of these kids are able to go on and purchase weapons. So that's why I need parents to know what their kids are doing on their phones. And they need to know who they're hanging out with. Um, I'm not sure, ma'am, but we can follow up on that. I don't believe so. Um, there was threats circulating, circulating out on uh, social media that Grandview and Rangeview were next, so we had officers respond. We do have video. We have surveillance video that we're going through, and please send us your video from your cell phones if you have it, again, to Crime Stoppers or the Aurora Police Department. Uh, we have uh, partial uh, evidence, yes. Yes, sir. Happened right back here. Wow. With an update now on yesterday's shooting at Hinkley High School in Aurora, police now have a 16 year old man in custody and he's being charged with attempted murder. The suspect's name is not being released at this time, and detectives are still working to identify and arrest other suspects involved. Three teens were shot in the school's parking lot yesterday and they're now recovering. Karen Morfitt has more on the details and the violence. Of left that's left the entire community feeling unsafe. Aurora police had the parking lot here at Hinkley High School blocked off for most of the day on Friday while they collected evidence. It wasn't until late in the evening where students were able to retrieve their vehicles, many of them damaged after police now believe a white pickup truck drove through this parking lot and opened fire following a fight during the lunch hour. This is an incident that has once again left the community stunned. Watching police mark the multiple shell casings left behind in the parking lot of Hinkley High School, all parents could do was wait anxiously to be reunited with their children. To look up here and see kids up here, I don't know if my son is in that bunch there, but see the police cars and it's, oh my God. Many families learning about the shooting from their children inside the school. I was taking a test. And Damn, so um, it looks bad. It, it, <laughs> You can't, these dudes, they boarded up in the school. Wow. And then the alarm is on saying we are in a lockdown. My so Hispanic is, is definitely some, that Hispanic gang type vibe. Daughter immediately texted me saying that she was scared and that there was a gunshot. Oh my God. No. That gunfire came from a parking lot south of the school. We have three juvenile victims at local hospitals. Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson says it all started as a fight. And then it went into a shooting. 
These are our kids that are shooting one another. This comes after six teenagers were shot near another Aurora High School earlier in the week. While police are not confirming a connection, parents are frustrated and demanding change. I want more resources available in this side of town. Give them something to focus on rather than... It's, it's not the resources, trust me. <laughs> it's not the resources. They're beefing, they got all these feuds. It ain't just because they ain't got nothing to do. They can get a job. There, there's plenty of jobs that are hiring, especially these fast food places. These food places, they can't get enough employees. It's not that. What they have available to them, which is drugs and guns. What they don't want is for another parent to have to wait to hug their child. The police chief says an Aurora Public Schools security officer came out and fired his weapon at that pickup truck as it drove through the parking lot. He then went to aid one of those victims by applying a tourniquet. It's unclear if that officer actually hit anyone when he fired his weapon. Aurora police are now asking anyone with cell phone video or more information to come forward. In Aurora, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Gang violence and other kind of violence.